Hey, thanks for listening to Sean's Awful Podcast, now available on vinyl. This is cool. You can listen to me anytime you want to. Hey guys, this is Sean, and welcome to another edition of Sean's Awful Podcast. What are you podcast. doing? I'm busy. Take a hike. Man, I fucking hate that guy. Three, two, one. Hey folks, how's it going? It's me, Sean. Welcome to episode four of Sean's Awful Podcast. And like I said before, it's not good, it's not great, it's not mediocre. It's awful. So, uh, as you can see, some time has gone by since, you know, we have time, and I've been kind of monkeying around with some video editing. Um, it's not going to make the show any better, you know, don't worry, it'll still suck. But behind me is one of my favorite places that I like to go before, you know, so I like to call it the, um, the Big Punishment. Uh, this is the City Bar, inside the Lenox Hotel in Back Bay, Boston. And uh, if we ever get a chance to go out in public places and do all the normal stuff before, I... Highly recommend that you come down here. Uh, whiskey Sour or the Amaretto Sours are my two choices. They get a great uh, beer on tap, good wine selection, great afters, and good meals. Um, yeah. Check them out if you can, when you can. I uh, just want to hit on a couple of things real quick. Um, in between that, I get a chance to do an interview based on my role for Defending Jacob. I know you're all sick of hearing about it, but Defending Jacob, eight-part miniseries on Apple TV+. Plus. Now, you don't need an Apple TV or an Apple TV device. It's a streaming service, just like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon. I believe it's a two-week trial, and then afterwards, it's five bucks a month. They get a lot of original content, some really good stuff like The Morning Show uh, with Jennifer Aniston. Uh, there's more shows coming up constantly, and they also have, you know, content we've seen before. You know, they bought uh, Charlie Brown, Peanuts. There's tons of stuff on it. They're starting out their new company. Uh, but again, Defending Jacob dropped on April 24th. It's an eight-part miniseries starring Chris Evans, Michelle Jockery, uh, Jade Martell, Betty Gabriel, Cherry Jones, Pablo Schreiber, uh, many other people, and uh, and me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was in the first two episodes. I'm Detective Peterson. And every Friday, they're going to release a new episode. They just released episode six. And next week will be episode seven, which I will be back for. Um... I know that's not an incentive for anyone to watch anything with me in it, but it's a good scene, and everyone else who's in the scene is great. But the rest of the show is fantastic, so do check it out. Uh, Defending Jacob, I want to give a special shout-out to Rangier Chambers at Big Gold Belt Media. I had an interview with him a couple weeks ago um, to talk about the show, uh, to talk about, you know, pop culture, what's going on, you know, the whole Tom Brady debacle and all that stuff. If you get a chance, the, the name of the... The site, uh, the, sorry, the channel on YouTube, rather, is called Big Gold Belt Media. They do cover, you know, wrestling stuff, you know, uh, professional and semi-professional wrestling. It's not everyone's cup of tea. But um, Mr. Chambers here, he does, like, a lot of TV and movie reviews. And it's good. It's very, very good. It's entertaining. He's great to watch. I had a great time talk with him. And uh, hopefully we'll get to do something together again soon. Hopefully that'll happen. Um, I'm going to wait maybe another couple of weeks after... The final episode of Defending Jacob airs, so that way I'll give people time to, you know, talk about it and make sure there's no spoilers. And I'll just kind of give a little recap, um, some of my behind-the-scenes experiences, and I get some really cool stories about the cast and the crew. Uh, it was a great, uh, great experience. I'm very happy and lucky that I get a chance to do that. And I do really think that you guys are really going to love the show. It's a great mystery whodunit, a uh, good courtroom thriller. Uh, Defending Jacob, uh, starring Mr. Chris Evans himself, too, I forgot. If I've mentioned that before. Um, secondly, things to watch on streaming. Uh, I got a chance to watch Extraction with uh, Chris Helmsworth, Thor, himself, on Netflix. It was great. It was, you know, uh, it was a great action movie. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, season 6 of Bosch on Amazon TV, starring the great Titus Welliver. It's a, you know, a cop show, like a detective noir set in modern-day L.A., uh, Titus Welliver plays the title character, Harry Bosch, and it's excellent. So, get a chance, watch it. Uh, also, uh, Ozark on Netflix. Again, I'm late to the party in a lot of stuff. Um, 
got to finally get a chance to watch the first episode. I, I liked it. It's really cool. You know, it's kind of it's kind of dark. Um, I'm very excited to watch the rest of it. Uh, Jason Bateman and uh, Laura Linney. They're amazing. They're great in that. Um, let's see what else. Disney Plus, whether you're a Disney fanatic or not, I am. I enjoy all the parks and all the old school cartoons and stuff like that. There's something for everybody on the channel. Uh, you know, right now, everyone's, you know, The Mandalorian, that's the big show. It's kind of a spinoff from Star Wars. But even if you're not a Star Wars fan, it's really cool. It's kind of like a, a science fiction western. It's really cool. And if you, you know, if you don't own a television or a computer or if you live in a cave, um, you probably don't know who Baby Yoda is, you know. Um, even if you just want to see Baby Yoda, check it out. It's cool. Uh, what else? Uh, on the Disney Plus channel is a documentary series called Imagineering. And essentially it starts off from shortly after Walt Disney constructs Disneyland to present day. And it goes with the ins and outs, you know, behind the scenes stuff. Uh, making the other parks, how they made the rides, making the movies, the ups and downs. It's, it's very, very well done. It's very interesting. Uh, even if you're a casual, you know, Disney file as myself. And uh, again, a place that I would like to uh, hopefully physically go to again sometime. Um, we'll just talk about some, you know, other light stuff. Keep it light, you know, keep it mediocre, keep it awful, as they say. We're going to do a quick, uh, quick break with our first sponsor. And uh, just hang on, it'll be over shortly. Today's episode of Sean's Awful Podcast is brought to you in part by one of our lovely, lovely sponsors. And our first sponsor for today is Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. When you want to unwind after a long day, or these days, start off your day with Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. The whiskey that tastes like cinnamon. Interesting. Shit. Yep. Alcohol. The cause and solution to all the world's problems. We just haven't figured it out yet. Um, just something that struck me the other day, how everyone's day-to-day -day life is new. Everyone says, well, this is life now. And how we've kind of come to accept these weird things before. Like, for me in the morning, I have to get coffee in the morning. If I don't get coffee in the morning, I, 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 I need my coffee. Preferably iced coffee, just cream, no sugar, from Dunkin' Donuts. There's a Dunkin' Donuts on the street from where I am, and usually on my way to work, if I'm going by, and the drive through you know, if there's like maybe eight cars, it's like, shit, you know, I'll just go to the Dunkin' Donuts close to my work, I don't have time for this. But now, when you're in the drive through it's like, oh, it's only... Only 20 cars in front of me. That's not bad. I got time. We've all got time. Um, what else? Uh, because most of the stores are closed. Uh, you can't really go anywhere to get most stuff. Like, you can't get pants. You can't get sneakers. Or if you want to, you know, order anything. You got to order from Amazon. You know, Amazon is one of those few companies that, you know, they've, you know, they've figured out, you know, they've survived. They're making top dollar. Um... For instance, you know, I've ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon. I know it's taking a little bit long to get your packages, you know, ground service, and I get that. You know, to, to everyone who's doing our mail and packages, all the UPS drivers, the FedEx guys and all that stuff, and everyone works at the Amazon place, you know, thank you. God bless you. You know, it's just because we, we all shit out of luck if it wasn't for you guys. But the funny thing is now is we can get to the point where, like, you forget that you ordered stuff. So sometimes the doorbell ring, I'll get out and I'll see the UPS guy drive away and I'll go out there and it's just like there's a package but like jeez I don't remember ordering a box or a package or, and you know you don't want to go through all that hassle and have it yours because you got to wipe it down you got to spray it and but you're curious about it too it's it's kind of like Amazon roulette you know you're going to win the lottery either way uh, and you just everyone has that you know three or four seconds you know where this question pops into their head oh you're with the box who's in the box oh, what's in the box the what's gun. in the fucking box Yes, what's in the fucking box? Exactly. And for those of you who don't know or are familiar with that clip, uh, that is from the movie Seven, uh, starring Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. If you haven't seen it, well, well, kids, you've got time to check that shit out. It's a trippy-ass movie. It's really cool. It's creepy. And people still talk about the ending to this day. Again, Seven. It's a great movie. 
Uh, what else is going on? Masks. Yeah. Masks. Pretty soon, no, they're not the summer's coming, everyone's going to have weird tan lines right around here. It's going to look like a reverse raccoon. Everyone's going to have sores behind their ears. Everyone's ears going to fucking stick out like that. I'm just curious if they're going to start making, like, thinner summer masks, you know, that are a little bit easier to breathe. It's not like, you know, you're, you're trying to breathe through a wool blanket outside. And I get it. You got to do it so you don't get sick and die. I get that. But again, just like anything else, anytime there's a there's a problem, an emergency, and if something's essential, someone's going to try to put their little fashion brand on it. You know, if you've been on Amazon, but people putting bedazzled uh, masks. Not that the masks that most people have will do anything. They're not the uh, N95s, whatever the fuck they're called. Um, it's just essentially a handkerchief on your face. Uh, they probably pay $50 more because someone uh, with a glue gun and some glitter is able to write your first name or nickname on a face mask. But uh, again, Disney has now come up with their own line specifically of masks that they want to use that people can have in when they open the parks again. Or just to have, you know, for your day-to-day -day life. You can walk around with a goofy mask or a, or a Snow White thing. Again, it's cha-ching, well played Disney. And also, Kiss. That I'm sorry if I offend some of the Kiss fans out there. That, that that shitty band Kiss with Gene Simmons, you know, you're all going to get specific Kiss masks. Oh, you know how much that costs. But I don't want to, you know, show an extra dill that it says Kiss on it and get sick and fucking die anyway. No, I don't want that. Yet. I know it's been a while since I posted something, but there's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. And also, to uh, secondly, uh, because it's, I'm shit. I'm shit at this. It's awful. Um, I've tried to do this four times. And look, looking back at the footage, um, it's shit. You know, I'm probably going to look back at this too. I mean, this is being released, and this is probably the best of the shit that I found. So, and you're like, wow, this sucks. It's probably pretty good than what you might have seen. So, I spared you again. You're welcome. Um, again, hopefully we'll get to do this soon. Um, trying to be a little, a little bit more tech savvy. Uh, there might be some special effects. And hopefully, in the next episode, I'll have another person with me. Uh, we're also going to do another podcast with my writing partner, Dave Curtis. That'll be coming soon. Uh, it'll be it'll be professional because he's... He's in the business. He's a production guy as well as apart from being a, a director and an actor too. So he'll be a little bit of a an anchor, uh, a little rudder to guide this shit show of a boat that you guys are uh, witnessing. The Titanic on video, as I like to call it. Um, something a little different, you know. It's uh, I'm not one of those people who can carry a show by themselves or anything, you know. Um, I could barely tie my fucking shoes in the morning, people, but. Uh, Luckily for you, this show has been brief, uh, as opposed to the one before. Again, I apologize for that. I did have a couple of whiskey sours before, uh, and a couple of whiskey sours while making that too. But it was fun. I got some good feedback, and I got a lot of not-so-good feedback. But feedback just the same. You know, thank you very much for watching. And uh, hopefully this will distract you from this. So... Have a good one, folks. I will see you soon. Take care.